battles in Total War Warhammer 3 are evolving. We have added new features, improvements, and quality of life changes that will help you defeat or unleash your demons. Using all of your units to the fullest of their potential will be the key to victory. The sky's no longer the limit for flying units. Now every flying unit can be toggled to grounded or flying, opening a wide range of tactical moves. Soar over your foe with your flying horses, land and charge their flanks for greater impact and damage. To launch your units back into the air again, they will need to be out of combat for several seconds, so plan your maneuvers carefully. Knowing how far you can push your units is important for any general. You can now see if your troops are in a braced stance by this shield icon. If your men are braced, you can be more confident that they can take the brunt of a charge with minimal casualties. We've also introduced lazy health bars which highlight any sudden bursts of large damage. They allow greater readability of how much damage has been dealt in the last few seconds of combat, making it easier to grasp how much impact certain spells or charges have. Healing spells and abilities are now calculated percent per second rather than a flat value. This opens counters to healing such as fire, which slows down healing effects for several seconds. A well-placed spell can be the turning point of any battle. We have added a new slow motion casting option for spells and abilities to ensure better placement for maximum effectiveness. Ticking this box means that as soon as you select a spell or ability to cast, the game will automatically enter half play speed. Once your spell is cast, you'll return to normal speed. It's important to know what all your units are doing, and in the heat of a tense battle, it's easy to forget or overlook units. We have now added an idle unit hotkey that can quickly locate any unit not in combat or following a movement order. By default, pressing backslash will cycle through every unit that is not engaged in battle, and control backslash will select all units not engaged. We have added a few features that improve readability on the battlefield. We have now got improved foliage culling distance, which allows better visibility in heavily forested areas and maps. New occlusion outlines highlight units that are behind objects with a colored outline, making it easier to see units that are partially out of sight, especially in tight streets or dense forests. Using these new mechanics will ensure your dominance on the battlefield. Keep your eyes open for tactical advantages and make sure you learn and make full use of every unit in your army. For more changes to battles, check out the Total War blog.